I don't know why, but I decided to pull my cover off. I guess it's just because I haven't done it ever. Um, I wanted to get a plug out and look at it and uh, just see what it looks like and maybe change them. And I figure while I'm in here, I'll take a look around. And I noticed my map sensor plug right here was just laying on the side. And I was like, how is that possible without, you know, having a code? And, I, and the reason I'm checking all this is because I noticed on the trip up here pulling my camper that it seemed like I had a slight miss, like on takeoff. <clears throat> so I decided to check it out, and I found that. It's really weird, because there was no check engine light for it. Um, so I just went and plugged the scanner in and checked, and there's one pending. Which tells me that it recently came off. And like I said, I've never been in here. <clears throat> so my guess is that the last person that plugged it in didn't quite get it all the way clicked, and it's since vibrated out. That's the only thing that I could think of that would explain it. Um, something else I noticed is that bolt right there for the manifold looks like it might be a little bit loose. See the gap? The other ones don't have that gap. So I'm going to go ahead and see if that turns. I don't want to break it, but uh, I'm going to see if I can get a turn on that. Snug it down. I'm going to pull this plug out and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's just sort of a funny little situation there. In the fact, I happened to be taking this off and caught it as the code was still pending even. It's a little weird. <clears throat> oh, well, I guess I'll pull that plug out and look at it. Doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna check the gap though. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's worn a little bit. I'm gonna check the gap. I might just regap all of them. Good rule of thumb: if you pull a plug out, just just replace it. But this is my vehicle, and I'm a bit of a cheapo. So I'm going to clean this up and check the gap on it. And if the gap's good, <clears throat> I'll probably just leave it and assume that the miss was because of that map sensor being unplugged for now. I mean, it ran fine. It was just a little hes hesitation um, coming off, you know, from stoplights, pulling, that, pulling the camper. I pull a 32-foot camper. Um... <clears throat> With everything in it, it probably weighs, I don't know, 8,000 8, pounds or so, 7,500. So, without the camper, I mean, it does, it, it, you don't even realize that there's a problem. Yeah, well. focus very good
Well, I just measured it. The gap on this right now is 65 thousandths. Um, but I'm using my phone to record this, and I'm pausing the video and stuff like that. So I'm just going to end it here, and then I'll get on the... Uh, I'm not near a computer, so I'm just going to get on the uh, old interwebs and figure out what the gap should be, and I'll adjust it accordingly. So... Sorry for not putting that part in here. Really, I just wanted to show you that weird issue there with the map sensor being unplugged. This is a 07 Chevy Express van. It's got a, it's a 2500 and it has a 4.8 liter. <clears throat> in case you're wondering. If you get a code for a map sensor, maybe just check see if it's unplugged. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.